It's always good to spend some time in a town where the major concerns of the day are when and how much it's going to rain, the Friday night football score, and what kind of price cattle are bringing down at the auction barn. For certain, one thing they don't worry about in Divine, Texas is crime, because Eddie Hootzler is on patrol. Eddie Hootzler is without a doubt the nosiest man in town, and people here wouldn't have it any other way. Every evening, he embarks on a journey that doesn't end until the wee hours of the morning. There's not anybody in town that doesn't know Eddie. Eddie's kind of a night watchman. You know, he goes around, he checks every business that's in town, you know, checks to make sure the door's locked. You know, he's prevented several, you know, burglaries around town, you know, just by him calling us in. Skunks. In, in the back of this alley, lots of skunks. You don't want to mess with them. Put stink on you. <laughs> Gotta watch this hole. There's a hole right there. See it? I need to check this door. He's a man of few words. I mean, he, he, he doesn't have a whole lot to say. It is getting late. Nobody knows exactly how long Eddie's been checking doors in Divine, but not once has he ever missed his nightly ritual of tugging, twisting, and turning every doorknob, latch, and lock for miles around. Eddie is an uncomplicated and quiet man who has formed a rare partnership with everyone here. At night, Eddie takes care of the town, and in the daytime, the town takes care of Eddie. The Divine City Council Chambers are home, and Eddie's taken up residence in an out-of-the-way corner. That's what I sleep in. I sleep here. Got my own television. We got him the cot for this past Christmas, but he prefers just to sleep in that old chair that he sits in. We asked him why he doesn't use the cot. He said that, you know, he's just so used to sleeping in the chair, where, as I understand it, he's probably slept for the last 10 years or more. When he's done for the evening checking the doors, he'll come in, watch a little TV, and, you know, he'll, he'll go to sleep, get up, and, and do it again. Knows everyone, knows everything about everyone. He's our night watchman and uh, checks the doors. He just takes care of everyone. If Eddie doesn't come in in the mornings and uh, we don't see him at lunch, we we start looking for him and uh, we get worried about him if he doesn't come by every day. Donkey shame. I'll be the same. Three different levels of. Uh, you got you got a spoon. No, we don't uh, really have that much problem because. Uh, Eddie's always around. He keeps an eye on our town. He really does. We all love Eddie. How many burglars you catch this week, Eddie? None. I find doors on all the time. Who's? That the church doors. Church well, that's supposed to be open. You're not supposed to be open, but we lock. It's supposed to be open. Let's go in here. Church doors are always open. Folks go to the funeral and find doors open. Church doors not supposed to ever be locked. Yes, it does. Oh, no, it's not. They steal in there. Who does? And kids. He has uh, diabetes now, so the doctor uh, has him uh, on a special diet. So he'll come in to eat lunch and he'll say, well, can I eat this, can I eat that? We'll always say, Eddie, yes, you can eat this, or maybe you can't have that, we'll give you something else. So he, he uh, we kind of watch him on his food. I've been employed with Dairy Queen for over 12 years now, and in that length of time, I don't think there's a day that's gone by that he hasn't came in and sat down and had a cup of coffee. He comes around and he uh, always makes it a point of saying, I checked your doors last night. There's a lot of people out there that uh, won't go out and, and work, but Eddie will. Now, that's it. Got the modos over here. He's the one person in the world who doesn't know the meaning of the word charity. Eddie works for every dime at a job with terrible hours and endless hazards. I, I got hit one time on a bicycle. 
Scott Morris hit me. He wasn't going very fast. It was early in the morning. I know the way. I know the way. I know the way. Da, 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 if you don't know Eddie when you come to this town, da, 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 you will know Eddie when you leave. Key whiz. My brake broke. I can't stop now. See there? Key whiz. That makes me mad. I like this kind of work. I'm proud of this one. I ain't got nothing else to do. You gotta work right, man. Nobody's gonna give it to you. <laughs> Nobody gave you money, you gotta work for it. I pick up beer cans too. Yeah. That's it. There's no more doors. That's all the doors. Why is it we look for ourselves when we look at someone else? Well, Eddie Hootzler is no one's mirror. Don't ever expect a long conversation or meaningless small talk. Eddie is a quiet, constant reassurance in this South Texas community. A man who's keeping up with the world by keeping an eye on the tiny town of Divine. I'm scared about the day that he no longer does it because he's a very big plus for us as far as I'm concerned. And I know that, you know, the department feels the same way. I like to check them doors. You know, it's going to be sad one of these days when Eddie's not around to take care of our town. And that's all the time we have for this week. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Phillips. This is Texas Country Reporter. We'll see you back here again next week.